Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Primitive AK here, back with another gameplay for you guys today. Today, what you guys are going to be watching is probably one of my best gameplays that I have to date. It's not my best gameplay, though. that's why I'm saying it's one of my best. But it's going to be a 40-0 flawless gameplay with a V2 rocket using the grease gun in core. Now, I know a lot of people were actually jumping on me about this one saying, grease gun in core, are you crazy? A lot of people don't like this gun for whatever reason, but I'm going to be showing you guys a class setup that I believe to be the best class setup for the grease gun, which will allow you to get easy mode V2 rockets. This gun is super underrated. If you guys haven't tried it out, I highly recommend you guys check it out. What holds this gun back is definitely its rate of fire, but there are a lot of attachments that can make this gun quite usable in my opinion and make it a viable gun to compete with other top tier guns like the STG and the PPSH. And I've mapped people with this gun in core. I, I prefer to use this gun a lot, because especially since I'm going for chrome camo, I'm trying to get the diamond weapons on everything. So I'm currently on the grease gun. I'm almost finished with it as we speak. I think I was like halfway through in this gameplay. So if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. But let's get into the class setup for today. So for my class setup, we're actually going to be using the armor division. Now, you do not you do not have to use the armor division. I'd recommend using something like the airborne division or something else along those lines that's close to it. Reason for that, only reason I'm using the armor division is because I'm trying to hit max prestige for all of my divisions because there is actually a secret weapon that you can unlock. If you guys haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. I made a video talking about the secret weapon that you unlock when you prestige certain uh, divisions and uh, I'm trying to unlock the armored one. So I'm almost done with the armored. I think I'm like less than 100 xp away from finishing that up but uh there's uh, there's secret weapons that you get with that so i'm just using the armor division but i strongly recommend that you guys use the uh what's that division called the airborne the one where you get the suppressor uh, that's definitely a reliable setup so i recommend you guys check that one out uh the gun that we're using is the grease gun obviously you can use a different variant there are different variants with different iron sights uh, i think there's like an epic variant with better iron sights i do not recommend the iron sights they're very bulky and can get in your way a lot and just makes for a really annoying gameplay in my opinion so since i don't have any other variants i actually am going to be using the lens sight now the lens sight is a little bit bulky at times but it's not as bulky as the iron sights and it it's easier for me to adapt to you can use a red dot if you like but the red dot feels really really bulky and i just i'm just not a fan of it on this gun especially since you strafe really fast and uh, other attachments we're going to be using is the grip now this gun has a lot of random side to side recoil i'm not entirely sure why but this gun just recoils to the side a lot so the grip is going to help you control that and make it so that way you can pretty much map people with this gun now it, this gun is around a four shot kill at most ranges the re it's a three shot if you're up close so most cases you're going to be four shotting people and the grip is going to be allowing you to pretty much laser beam people at ranges now there you are going to have to do some recoil compensation but for the most part the grip is going to do most of the work for you as most of your engagements are going to be close range uh, the next attachment we're going to be using is the extended mags this is going to extended mags really isn't necessary for this gun since it has such a slow rate of fire and it has a really fast time to kill up close but the extended mags i like using the extended mags because i don't like reloading that much i don't like the fact that i have to keep reloading and using extended mags is definitely going to help out with uh, taking out multiple people especially if you catch yourself in a bad situation where you have to kill three people at once and you somehow manage to stay alive this is going to help kill those extra people that way you don't have to get you don't get caught with your pants down trying to reload and it's, it's just going to be an absolute mess and you're going to end up dying off your streak if that's the case and there were a couple cases where i did catch myself in that scenario so extended mags definitely a must use in my opinion the next we're going to be using the primed basic training or perks as i like to call them because they're basically perks uh, primed is basically so that way you can get the extra attachments without the prime perk you can only get two attachments on your gun now i was actually using forage perk which is basically scavenger in world war ii but i took it off because i noticed that i was getting on 20 kill streaks without using scavenger and i felt that scavenger wasn't really necessary on this gun especially with extended mags you're going to be getting those extra extra bullets to help you out and if anything you can just pick up an extra gun on your streak so if you find yourself uh, running out of bullets very quickly just pick up another gun i guarantee you you're gonna get another good gun to pick up like in my case i found the mp40 on the ground and then eventually i ended up finding an stg on the ground during my streak 
And if you're playing a game mode like Dom, for example, which I am in this gameplay, you're going to notice that by the time you run out of bullets, the round's going to be over. So you are you don't need to use Forage, in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't even resupply your grenades, so there's really no point to using it. Prime's going to help it, so that way you can win more gunfights. I'm going to talk more about that in another video. But this reduces your flinch when shot. And as of now, flinch is ridiculous on this game. It is ridiculously powerful. You flinch so much on this game, and it really annoys the heck out of me. Uh, so this is going to make it so that way you can win more gunfights. So if you're putting 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 more bullets into somebody, Prime is going to help you win those gunfights. That way you can stay on target at all times. Your secondary doesn't really matter as much. I prefer the N1911 just because it's almost a two shot. It's pretty much a two shot at most ranges. Uh, closer range, of course. I'm not referring to like long range because you shouldn't be using a long range pistol. Uh, but you're going to want to use extended mags also. That way you can, uh, in case you haven't picked up a second gun as well, you'll be able to take out a few more targets. PO8 is a little more accurate. If you want more accuracy, I recommend using the PO8. And lethal, you're just going to want to use the uh, N degree 74. Uh, grenade which is basically just a semtex it doesn't really matter on your grenade because you obviously only get one grenade per uh, you, you get one grenade per round if you're playing Dom if you're playing TDM you obviously only get one grenade per life uh, but this uh, this class setup is definitely more reliable than most uh, most class setups that I've done now like I said the grease gun is not the greatest gun in the game I'm definitely going to admit that and say it's not the greatest gun in the game but that doesn't make it not viable if that makes any sense at all uh, this gun definitely has gotten me through a lot of sticky situations. Like I said, the only reason I'm using it a lot right now is because I have to get diamond for every single gun to unlock the chrome camel. And as of now, I'm working on the SMGs. I'm almost done with the ARs, and I'll do the snipers last because the snipers are the easiest in my opinion. Uh, but otherwise, this is definitely a really great class setup that you guys should definitely use. It's, you're pretty much guaranteed to win almost any gunfight with this setup, especially with the Prime. The Prime is really the bread and butter of this entire class setup. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, rate down, subscribe down below. Post, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. I'm going to leave you guys to the rest of the gameplay as the V2 Rocket is coming up pretty shortly. And it is your boy Primitive AK signing out. Peace! Rocket, let's go. Got it. I'm gonna try to go for the vicious. No, not yet. No, it doesn't have to be.
Okay, boys, let's go.